Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. As a brand ambassador for Tesla, one of the most common questions I get, whether it's from uh, people just thinking of buying a Tesla or from existing Tesla owners looking to swap out their wheels, is should I get the 19 inch or 20 inch wheels? So why is this an important question? Well, generally speaking, the larger your wheels are in terms of diameter, and this is a general rule, the less range you're going to get. So it's a critical decision if range is super important to you. If you aren't as concerned about range, then get the 22s. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about how to go about answering this question. I think you need to construct a real world test. And I'm very fortunate that I'm able to do that um, definitively because I happen to have two Model Ys. Uh, this one is a white Model Y, it's my wife's, it's a 2021. This one here is a black Model Y, as you can see, um, and it's also a 2021. It has the 20 inch factory inductions. And again, we've got the 19 inch factory um, wheels over here. So what that means is that we were able to do a test that I think is uh, irrefutable in terms of the results. Now, if you wanna skip straight forward to the results, I've got chapters listed in the description. You should be able to do it, you know, right in whatever um, device you're using to watch this video, and you can just go right there. If you wanna hear more about the methodology and why I think it's a super accurate result, then keep watching and you'll get to those good bits very shortly. All right, so here's the method to our madness. We took about a 50 kilometer route. That's about, oh, I don't know, 30 miles or so. And basically we did it in a time when the freeway or the roads were fairly empty and I followed my wife, but I did not follow her close enough to get any sort of inkling of a slipstream effect. So I was far enough behind, don't even worry about that. <laughs> so that's basically the methodology. So the speed was the same, the elevation was the same, the mix of the uh, city slash you know, highway slash freeway was all the same. So I think that this is a definitive result. Let's take a look and see exactly what the numbers said. I use an app called Teslab, and what you're seeing here are screen captures from that app. And I have both of these vehicles um, in that app, and the app basically is capturing the data from each of them on this exact same drive. Now, there's a couple anomalies that I do want to draw your attention to that aren't material. For some reason, uh, you know, my wife started a minute before me and drove an extra you know, 1.2 kilometers. I have no explanation for that. However, it's very small difference and is not material to the end result. The other thing I want to point out is that the route was identical and the conditions were identical. So it was 16 degrees Celsius out in terms of the amb ambient temperature. And as I mentioned previously, the elevation, the speed, everything was identical. So here's the result. Essentially, I ended up using 3.6 kilometers more um, range than my wife did. And that's roughly 6.9%. So if you take a look at the rated range for the Model Y, which is 525 kilometers, that works out to roughly 36 kilometers of additional range you're going to get with the 19 inch wheels versus the 20 inch wheels. So there you have it. If range is the most important thing to you, get the 19 inch wheels and not the 20. If you do get the 20 and you're worried about, well, maybe just winter time, I wish I had 19s, get 19 inch wheels for the winter. Uh, you can interchange them as long as your tire person or if you already know this stuff has the right you know, aspect ratio of the wheel uh, in terms of its profile and whatnot. Uh, so that's what I do. I actually, I'm gonna run the 20s uh, on my Model Y until the winter time and then I'm gonna swap them out with 19s just to get that a little extra range. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but it does make a difference. So, especially in winter time. That's it. Thank you very much for watching today and uh, do hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thank you, Tesla Connect.
over and out. Bye.